doing great. Now, where are you originally from? Uh, central Minnesota, St. Cloud. And where do you live now? Um, right about there. <laughs> I'm, I'm real close to home, yep. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, please? I, yeah, my, my story all kind of started, uh, my professional athletic career started uh, racing snowmobiles uh, from 2004 to 2008, racing with the best of the best in the world, and then unfortunately had a, a, a very severe injury while competing, and um, that injury led to the amputation of my left leg just above the knee. And. Um, I, I wasn't really one to, to slow down and, and watch from the sidelines, so I set out to develop some really uh, innovative prosthetic equipment to get me back into action and back on my dirt bike and snowmobile. And eventually, um, through the development of that, got into snowboarding. And you didn't really snowboard much before the accident? No, no, I was always a motorsports guy. and, and um, you know, it turns out that the equipment that I developed with my company, Biodapt, um, the most common use for it was snowboarding. And, and um, you know, I myself wanted to further develop things and learn how to snowboard myself and eventually got talked into competing for the first time in 2012 and realized, yeah, this is, this is pretty fun. And then shortly after, they, they added uh, Paralympic snowboarding or added snowboarding to Paralympics. Um, I was not at that level in 2014, the last round, but uh, the following year um, was asked to, uh, to be on the U.S. Para snowboard team and, and see if we could uh, you know, learn how to ride and, and become one of, the, one of the, the main guys as we come into the 2018 games. Now, what do you like best about snowboarding? I, you know, I, I love the competition about it, you know, the border cross, that's, that's a lot of fun. It, it, it's really similar to motocross and snowcross. I mean, we have the big jumps and the bumps and then the head-to-head -head competition, which is really what, uh, what I get excited about is lining up against my competitors and just trying to beat them to the finish line. Um, I mean, the other thing is, is when we're free riding and training, you know, being in the mountains and in all these amazing places around the world, it truly has been... Um, you know, a, a, a once in a lifetime experience to be able to travel with the U.S. team and you know, get to get to see the world over the last couple of years. How long did it take for you to successfully navigate a slope? Oh, yeah, it probably took me, you know, a few days of riding um, to where I could, you know, get down the run without, uh, you know, wrecking. But uh, you know, overall, it took it took a, a good three seasons of riding to be able to be comfortable to uh, you know think about going down a like a race course. What does your training entail? Um, well, um, yeah, the hardest part about uh, border cross is there's there's not a whole lot of border cross courses to ride and practice on. Um, so I ended up going to Colorado a lot and training with uh, some of the club teams like Adaptive Action Sports and, um, and then also um, you know, just going over uh, obstacles and, and trying to find natural terrain that would mimic uh, going down a course you know, at those speeds. And, um, so as we lead into the games now, we've, we've evolved into you know, some, some very specific strength and conditioning training and then on-course training. Um, I actually headed to another camp coming up here shortly, right before the games. Uh, and so we, we try and go on, on practice courses that really challenge us, that would actually be more difficult than our race conditions. What excites you most about being in the Paralympics? I, I guess for me, what really stands out and is um, really big in my mind is just being part of Team USA. Um, you know, the scope of that, representing our country, re wearing the red, white, and blue jersey, um, you know, that's big. It's, uh, you know, me as an athlete, I, I've, 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 I always remember watching the Olympics growing up and, you know, seeing these athletes perform at their peak when all that pressure is on. You know, that's what I look forward to, and, and that's what I hope I can do as an athlete is, is really perform my best when it comes down to that gold medal run, if I may get to that. <laughs> I hope you do. Now, what is the 
Uh, what are some holistic events you'd like to watch? Uh, my favorite is definitely the border cross. It's so exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, the high speeds, the head-to-head -head competition, and the, the courses are just uh, really, really awesome. Now, what is the What Keeps You Started initiative? Uh, yeah, I, um, through all this, I, I've had the opportunity to team up with Kellogg's and uh, be part of their What Gets You Started campaign. And um, I mean, it fits really good. It, uh, us as athletes, our day starts early and, and um, you know, all that starts with a good solid breakfast so we can uh, continue on through the day. And it's been a, a, a real pleasure being teamed up with them. And, and seeing myself on the, the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes cereal box, I mean, that's big time. I remember you know, watching um, athletes, uh, you know, Olympic athletes when I was younger, seeing them on the cereal box. And I'm like, wow, that's big time. Never did I ever think that I would be uh, on, the, on the cereal box. Uh, sounds awesome and a little surreal. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Where can people learn more about this initiative? Uh, you can follow us. Uh, you can follow me and my other Kellogg's teammates on Twitter, Kellogg's US, and then uh, the hashtag gets me started. And, and uh, yeah, see see what it's all about, and um, you know, watch us as we uh, perform at the Olympics and Paralympics. Now, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, I've, I've got a whole list of fun stuff. Um, you know, I, I absolutely love being outdoors, um, mainly, you know, whether I'm riding a dirt bike, a snowmobile, um, snowboarding or mountain biking, I just love being outside, you know, taking in nature and, and um, sharing those experiences with my family and my four-year-old daughter, which is, uh, yeah, she's my biggest cheerleader for sure. And it's, it's just been a lot of fun being able to uh, share all these fun experiences with her. What would you like to add about your family? I, it's, you know, definitely one of the highlights with uh, being part of the Team USA is seeing the excitement um, that my daughter has when we're competing. And, and she, she's got the red, white, and blue pom-poms, and she's got her Team USA gear and going for gold nail polish. And, you know, I know she's, she's only four, but she understands what's going on and, and um, yeah, I, I just really enjoy having the opportunity to make such a good influence on her as she's grown up through sports that I do and, and how hard I, I, I work for, for my goals. Now, what are your events to compete in? Um, I will be competing in border cross, which is head-to-head -head racing down the uh, course with jumps and bumps and rollers and berms. And then I'll also be competing in uh, bank slalom, which is a snowboard race against the clock. So we've got a course with um, with 15 to 20 different turns in it, and they're banked turns. So it, it's extremely fun to ride, and we get three runs to put down our best time. And um, yeah, it's it's about not making any any mistakes and uh, you know putting the best time you can on the clock. Uh, what are your personal social media handles? Uh, Monster Mike Schultz. Uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. Yeah, we, that, that's, that's the best way to keep in touch and, and uh, see, see my results and see all the fun things I get to do. What is something you'll do when you get back from the game? Ooh, something, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna probably take, take a week or two off. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been a crazy push over these last few months. Um, so hopefully I can, can just uh, relax at home for a couple weeks and uh, you know, hopefully if all goes well, look at that big old gold medal hanging on the, on the wall. What motivates you to succeed? My motivation is really about the challenge in front of me. I mean, whether it's me developing a prosthetic leg to get me back into the sports I love, or, um, or it's the challenge of me learning a new sport like snowboarding or going after a gold medal and trying to be the best athlete in the world in my sport at this time. Um, yeah, I, I really try and look at things as a challenge instead of a problem or a disability. What advice do you have for someone who's faced a serious setback? I, it's all about perspective, and, and my advice to you guys is, is to, to look at it as a challenge instead of a problem or an issue uh, or a disability, because uh, perspective is, is what drives us in a negative or positive way in my mind. And um, so set those goals high and just do what you can to, uh, to reach them. 
Is there anything else you'd like to add? I, I'm just I'm just really excited to be part of the Kellogg's team this year as I go into the games, and um, it truly is an honor to represent Team USA. And hopefully, hopefully all goes well, and I can get the job done when it really matters. Well, thank you very much. I hope you do very well. We'll be rooting for you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Bye bye.